it's your girl simply kiki back again with another video um i made a video about this a couple of years ago it was called breastfeeding versus formula feeding and i wanted to kind of not re-upload of course but just kind of make a part two and really just um get into some things that I didn't get into back then. Um, I'm more educated now, more informed, so I want to share some things with you guys. First and foremost, breast is always best. I don't care what doctors say. I don't care what the formula says. Um, a lot of formula says closest to breast milk. There is nothing that's close to breast milk. Nothing. Nothing compares to liquid gold. Uh, formula is nothing but fillers. It's filled with chemicals, cow milk, uh, oils, fillers. It's just basically going to keep weight on your baby. But it does not supply nutrients. No, I don't believe it does. I just simply don't. Any When you feed your baby formula, you're giving your baby milk from another species. Humans are the only species that feeds their babies from another species. You don't see dogs giving their babies cat milk or you don't see um, chickens giving their babies um, dog milk. Like, come on now. You know, we are the only species that do this. And I know it's because of propaganda. It's because of the dairy industry, the many, many lies that they tell us. Um, they created formula, I guess, to be convenient for, for moms, you know, so they told us this big lie saying that it's close to breast milk or, you know, it's very, very similar to breast milk. So, hey, you don't have to be tied down to your baby 24-7. Just give them a bottle of this good stuff. No. And um, I have some notes here about some facts you know about breast milk and some facts about formula so first we're going to talk about breast milk okay baby's benefits these are the benefits that the baby gets from the breast milk okay natural antibodies you produce antibodies for your baby okay immunity that's your baby's immunity. When your baby is born and has no immune system, it's so vulnerable and susceptible to illness and germs and bacteria and viruses. So your body creates these good antibodies for that baby to build up its own immune system so it can fight off these things, okay? It's easily digested. It's digested very, very quickly, actually. Very quickly. This is why breastfed babies nurse so often okay you can never compare a breastfed baby to a formula fed baby okay breast milk digests very very quickly okay and formula sits on the stomach for a little bit longer less constipation and gas i found that during my own journey i have four children two of all of them were breastfed but my first two were bottom were formula fed and breastfed because i did not have the knowledge that i have now and um they were of course constipated gassy and i'm thinking oh this is normal you know this this is what they go through give them a little bit of water massage their bellies you know but my two breastfed babies they were never constipated never gassy never fussy okay lower risk of SIDS <sighs> okay first and foremost this is what causes SIDS formula formula causes SIDS why because it's dairy what does dairy have in it KC morphine please google that find out what that is okay um it causes SIDS period point blank it causes asthma it causes eczema it causes allergies all right higher intelligence breastfed babies are more intelligent not saying that formula fed babies are stupid but breastfed babies have a higher intelligence reduces chance of being overweight okay overweight my last baby he was very very lean for like the first 
year of his life. Very lean. People were like, oh, he's so tiny. He's a year old. Oh, he's so tiny. But he was very, very strong. Very smart. Um, his development was on point. He did everything at his own pace. You know, he was never... It seemed like he was hungry or, or not satisfied or, or even upset about anything. He was always content, pretty much, you know. That's how you know when your baby is fed well. They're content. After they breastfeed, they go about their business. They play. They do whatever they're going to do. But if a baby is starved or um, not content from the breast, they'll fuss all day long. Okay. Um... Reduces the chances of developing asthma. Hmm. Why? Because formula causes asthma. It's dairy. Period. Diabetes. All these things. This is, I don't even want to get into that. But uh, diabetes, high cholesterol, Hodgkin's disease, leukemia, and lymphoma. Okay. Just period. It's hot in here. Breast milk is best. The benefits for mom... Okay, reduces risk of breast cancer, diabetes, heart disease, osteoporosis. For my black women, we don't get that anyway. Um, usually it's Caucasians and Asians that get osteoporosis and ovarian cancer. Helps uterus contract. Oh my God. You know, for my ladies that do breastfeed, when you latch that baby on after birth, the contractions are very intense. As soon as you latch the baby on, you can feel your uterus contracting. So it helps your uterus reduce in size much faster if you breastfeed. And it stops the bleeding faster as well. Um, and it provides a great way to bond. Why? Because when you breastfeed, there's a hormone that's released. It's called, um, what is that hormone called? Oh my God. How can I not know this? I do know. I just can't recall right now. Um, okay. There's a hormone that's released. I'll think of it before this video is over. That increases the bonding between mother and baby. You know, it makes you kind of relaxed. No, no, not kind of. It makes you very relaxed. Very relaxed. So relaxed that you might fall asleep while nursing. And you probably will. Um, but it's like... It just increases the bonding. I don't know. It's it's hormonal. Um, the baby is always attached to you for one. So you get to look at the baby. The baby looks into your eyes. You look into the baby's eyes. And there goes the bonding experience. They're playing with your face. You're kissing them. And it's just, it's, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, now let's get to formula feeding. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Benefits for baby... Hmm, there is none. No benefits. Um, it's harder to digest. No immunity or antibodies. Minimal nutritional support. Causes gas and constipation. Facts. Lacks vitamins and minerals. I don't care what the back of that thing say. What the back of that can say. It There's no vitamins and minerals up in that mess. Sorry. Um, for one, how can it live in that? How can vitamins and minerals, which are living organisms, live inside of a can made in a factory? No, I'm not going to do it. Minimal bonding. Now, not saying that you cannot bond with your baby if, you're bo if you bottle feed. The thing is, when most people, when most women bottle feed their babies, there's really no, not much interaction. A, a little bit, yeah, you know, you a little bit, but not very much because once that baby learns how to hold the bottle for himself, you know, there you go. You putting it in the bed, giving it the bottle, or a lot of women prop it up. I know what y'all do. Lay the baby in the bed, prop that bottle up, and you go and buy your business because it's easier. It's more convenient, okay? Um, oxytocin. <laughs> I knew I was going to think of the hormone. It's called oxytocin. Google that. That's that bonding hormone. That's that feel-good hormone when you're breastfeeding, okay? Oxytocin. Okay, the benefits for mom from formula feeding. More convenient, flexible, easy feeding schedules, 
no worries about food or medication, meaning you don't have to worry about what you put inside of your body because what you put in your body is going to go into your breast milk. So you don't have to worry about that when you bottle feed. Okay. Um, you can drink alcohol as much as you like. Now you can drink alcohol when you do breastfeed because very small amount of alcohol gets into your breast milk. It's like, say you take a shot of tequila. Okay. It's like pouring that shot of tequila in a five gallon bottle of water. So it's so diluted. If you pour a shot of tequila inside of a five gallon thing of water, you're not going to taste that tequila. It's just too diluted. Th that's how slowly the alcohol seeps into, you know, the breast milk. But if you find yourself, you know, you, you cannot get drunk when you breastfeed, okay? Because for one, you risk uh, hurting the baby, dropping the baby, you know, and it's just too much. If you're sober enough to drive, you're sober enough to nurse, okay? So that's about it. As you can see, there was really not much benefits for mom when it came to, no, not mom, for baby when it came to uh, formula feeding. So um, if you can breastfeed your baby, I would say please do it. Um, even if you pump and put it in a bottle, even if you breastfeed for a month, that's great. Because in the beginning, that baby needs that colostrum to help seal the gut. The gut is open until six months of age. So I don't know why women are giving their babies cereal at three months old, two months old. Saying, oh, the baby's going to sleep longer. Oh, they're going to get fuller. No. Cereal, for one, has no nutritional value. It's going to make your baby's stomach hurt. Okay? So And, and give the baby constipation along with that formula. You know, so, you know, the, the babies, they're new. They should have nothing but breast milk. Nothing but breast milk for the first six months of life. So if you can provide that, then do that. There are women that cannot breastfeed medically, but it's a very low percentage. Unless you have some kind of hormone problem, you know, which is usually um, a thyroid condition or something, or... Um, you have uh, insufficient glandular tissue, which is when your your glands in your um, breast, you lack any, you don't have any, or you have very, very small amounts. So you either they produce no milk or they produce very, very little amounts of milk. So they cannot sustain the life of their child. And that's only like 1%. You know, it's, it's very low. So if you can breastfeed, please do, at least while that time that you're off work, I know a lot of moms have to work, um, do it for that six weeks, you know, some milk is, breast milk is better than none. If you can do it, then do it. Um, if you can pump while at work, then do it. You know, it's very, very beneficial for you and that baby. Formula feeding is not beneficial for the baby. It's convenient for the mother, period. Okay, and um, I think that's that's all I have to say about this vi about this issue, this subject. Feel free to leave your comments, rate, subscribe, like, and uh, that's about it. Bye bye.